What is up, guys? Welcome back to another Skywalker Gaming video. Well, today I will be doing a vlog. Sorry if it's a little bit dark, but today I decided to do a shoe vlog. I am going to start a new series. It's going to be... Well, I mean, I have enough series going on. Man, I'm trying to find the perfect light. There we go. Okay. So today we are going to be reviewing the Retro 7s. And if you go to my school... You know I love my Retro 7s. They are usually all I wear. Now, I'm going to re be reviewing all my other shoes. I should be getting my Retro 12s. They should be getting shipped in maybe about, about a week or so. And I am going to get a Retro 10s. And I'm going to get a new colorway for the Retro 7s. So that's going to be, that's going to be the return of that. So let's start off here. Here's the overall view of the shoe. This is the right shoe, like the, the right pair. As you can see, it's got the 23 on the back. Sorry if it's dark, guys. I'm... There we go, there's the light. Okay, so let's start off with the grip on the shoe. So, as you guys can see, the grip on the shoe has some serious, serious stuff going on here. It's more of a, I'd say, indoor shoe, but honestly, the traction, I'd give it more of an outdoor as well. I was playing outside the other day with a couple of friends of mine. The outdoor traction on these shoes is some next level stuff. I'm, I'm just going to put it right there, right now. Traction was awesome so honestly you could go either way you could go outdoor or indoor the um the shoe mostly is leather is leather on the outside we, and as you can see it's the jordan fixture here on the top now there's two ways to wear the shoe this is a size 13 because i got big feet so there's two ways to wear this shoe this shoe can be worn as a casual shoe or a game shoe. Now, what I mean by that is I'm going to set up the camera right here. Okay. So, the shoe has a bottom layer texture. Okay. So, when you tighten it up like this, you could go and play in these shoes. So you could like really tighten them up and the top will become really tight. So it would kind of look like that with your shoe in. But if you really want to go lax and casual, you could just keep it like that. Wear it like that, put your laces out or tuck them in. Either way, if you want to be casual like that or if you just want to be playing in the shoe or if you want to just be a part of that thug life, either one. But this shoe is really positive on it. Oh, God, I got a rock in here. As you guys can see, I got I to gotta take that out. I'm going to go get a knife and take that out. Anyway, so that's it for that pair. Not only that, but a warning for you guys. These shoes, I'm going to give you a warning for this. These shoes are some tough, tough stuff. Okay. This shoe is good for rain. Like, I don't suggest playing in the rain, but you could if you wanted to. This, this shoe, I've had it for about two years. I mean, not two years, a year, and the shoe is really, really good. I'm just going to say it right now. Uh, sorry that I'm not really much of a shoe professional, but I do know my Retro 7s like the back of my hand. So, these shoes are awesome. If you want to cop a pair, you could go online to freaking the Nike Store Foot Locker. We're not sponsored by any of these brands, but I'm just pointing it out there. If that's where you want to go and get the shoe. Personally, I got these at Foot Locker. I went there... Got a pair. This is it. Next video, I am going to be doing the LeBrons. And then maybe my Under Armors. Now, not the Steph Currys, just the normal Under Armors. And maybe I'll be doing something on the Nike Hyper Lives. But stay tuned for that. I will see you guys when I see you guys. Peace out.